hey guys and welcome back to our pearl lemon youtube channel so in today's video we are going to be discussing a very difficult topic but an important one which is handling termination so whether you're an employer or an employee termination is never an easy experience but understanding the do's and don'ts can make the process a little bit more smoother and less stressful for everyone involved so we will be breaking that down this topic into two parts so in this video we will discuss the do's and don'ts of handling termination in relation to employers so this is the employer edition and in the next part we will discuss the do's and don'ts with regards to employees so without further ado let's get straight into the video so we will be starting off with the do's for employers so number one you need to have a clear and documented reason for termination and some of the reasons can include performance issues so here you need to document performance concerns with written evaluations, improvement plans, and coaching sessions. Remember to keep records of conversations and warnings. Another reason can include misconduct. So here you need to investigate thoroughly and gather evidence before acting. Ensure also that the investigation is fair and unbiased. Another reason can include redundancy. So here you need to explain the business reasons for the redundancy and be transparent about selection criteria. Also follow any redundancy protocols outlined in your company policies. And another reason could include other legitimate reasons. So here you can clearly document any other reason for termination ensuring that it complies with employment laws and company policies. Number two, you need to follow your company's policies and procedures. So this basically includes specific steps for conducting termination meetings, issuing termination notices, and managing severance pay. It's also important to consult with your HR department or legal counsel which ensures compliance and minimizes risk. Number three, meet with your employee in person in a private location. So this basically shows respect and allows for a respectful and professional conversation. It's also good to have a witness present to document the meeting and ensure objectivity. Number four, be clear and concise about the reason for termination. So it's very important here to use factual language and avoid emotional outbursts or personal attacks. Answer questions truthfully, but also avoid offering excessive details beyond the official reason. Number five, Offer severance pay if applicable. So you need to check your company policies and local laws regarding severance requirements. You also need to consider factors like length of service, reason for termination, and impact on the employee. And number six, let the employee know their rights and benefits. So you need to explain their options regarding COBRA health insurance continuation, unemployment benefits and access to personal belongings and you also need to provide written information and resources for further assistance so now that we've covered the do's for handling termination employer edition let's get into the don'ts now so number one do not discriminate against the employee so guys, remember that termination must be based on legitimate business concerns, not protected characteristics like, like race, religion, gender, age, or disability. You also need to be aware of potential biasness and ensure that all terminations are conducted fairly and consistently. Number two, don't violate the employee's privacy. So do not share confidential information about the employee with anyone who doesn't have a need to know. And you also need to ensure that you respect their privacy during and after the termination process. Number three, don't make false or misleading statements about the employee. So what does this mean? This simply means that false or misleading statements can damage their reputation and lead to legal 
consequences so you need to stick to truthful statements based on the documented reason for termination number four don't engage in emotional outbursts or unprofessional behavior. So here you need to remain calm, respectful, and professional throughout the process. You also need to ensure that you avoid making personal attacks or using any rude or cruel language. And number five, don't leave the employee without support this is very important because you need to provide information about potential resources like unemployment benefits outplacement services or even employee assistance programs and leaving them without support can reflect a very poorly on the company and create unnecessary hardship so there you have it guys i hope this video has been helpful remember that termination is a difficult process for everyone involved but by following these do's and don'ts you can make it a little a little bit more stress a little bit more less stressful and ensure that everyone's rights are protected so if you have enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our youtube channel for more legal tips and advice please remember to join us for part two as we discuss the do's and don'ts of termination employee edition so till the next video bye